The Christ Letters with Enhanced Narration and Text Letter 5.8 Everything is Consciousness Made Visible Your universe is cause and effect made visible. This is an undeviating principle of existence. If there are instances of deviations such as paranormal experiences or instantaneous healings, the average person exclaims in astonishment and science refuses to believe that such a thing is possible. As my explanation deepens, you will eventually understand how such deviations take place logically and effectually. In other words, these deviations occur according to natural spiritual laws and always serve a necessary purpose. Nowhere is there any mindlessness in creation, even in the ant or gnat, unless the mind of an entity has been born defective or been damaged. Therefore, it is clear, you live and operate in a physical universe which displays the highest degree of intelligence and purposeful activity within the creation of matter itself, in the physical bodies of all individual entities, from plants to human beings. Unfortunately, this high degree of intelligence and purposeful caring is only minimal in the consciousness displayed by the created entities themselves, from plants to human beings. In other words, the bodies in which you conduct your lives, in which you think and feel and do whatever comes to mind, manifest within their physical organs and working parts a very much higher order of intelligence and loving purpose than does your human consciousness. Human interests are mostly wrapped up in the problems of personal daily survival, enjoyment of pleasures and emotional physical satisfaction. To achieve these purposes, the majority of people use only the commodities manufactured out of matter. Even the minds of scientists cannot fully unravel the hidden secrets of earthly existence, and, despite all their scientific expertise, are as bogged down in the changing fortunes of existence as are those who have no learning at all. Therefore, it is a logical conclusion that that out of which you have drawn your physical being is one of immensity, not only of size, but immensity of willpower, the will to self-expression and creativity. Visualize for a moment the size of the material universe, the sun and its heat, the moon, the earth planet and solar system, the galaxies of stars, and the fact that all this visible material is totally interdependent, yet also dependent on the movement of the planetary bodies and subject to universal laws of consistent function and movement. This vast universe has had its origins within and has been drawn out of the foundation of your being and the entirety of life force energy in the universe has been drawn out of that same foundation of being. Therefore, do not be dismayed if, in my efforts to analyze for you, 
the spiritual components of your source of being, you find that you recognize what these components are and to a very, very, very limited extent possess the same spiritual components of consciousness yourself. You have drawn all that you are, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, from your source of being. Before I explain to you how this could be, I want you to take certain steps to help your minds absorb the immensity of that out of which you have drawn your being. After you have read the next pages to the end of my letter, take each paragraph individually into meditation and visualization, for only in this way will the words begin to grow in realization and take on the spiritual reality of their true meaning. All spiritual, unseen, seen, imagined is consciousness awareness. The primary comprehensive nature of consciousness is awareness. It is not possible to have consciousness without possessing awareness. All that you see, all that you touch, hear, feel, know is consciousness awareness made visible. There is nothing in the universe that is not consciousness made visible. Consciousness awareness is infinite and eternal. There are two dimensions of consciousness, both beyond and within your own earthly plane of existence, the plane of heavy matter, solid form. The ultimate universal dimension of consciousness awareness can never be fully or truly known by an individualized spirit. It is inaccessible. It is in equilibrium. It is the only source of all power, wisdom, love, intelligence. The universal dimension of consciousness awareness in equilibrium is a state of silence and stillness, out of which comes sound, color, individualized form and all visible creativity within the visible universe. Out of ultimate universal dimension of consciousness awareness in equilibrium has come all of creation, all the various unseen dimensions of existence descending in order of spirituality from the very portals of the universal dimension down to the most ponderous vibrational frequencies of inanimate earthly substances and beyond into unspeakable horrors of consciousness perversions and anti-truth. This ultimate universal dimension of consciousness awareness is not only in space, it is all space. It is undetectably everywhere. For those who think in terms of atoms, you can say 
It is the space in the atom. Therefore, it is in silence and equilibrium within the space of all elements and matter.